Hi, I'm Joe Sando, and uh, I titled my talk Firebug versus WebKit Developer Tools Deathmatch. Uh, how many people here prefer Firefox as their favorite browser for everyday use? How many people prefer Chrome for their everyday browser? Exactly. <laughs> Most people prefer Chrome now. As of a month ago, I know several people who have independently said, Firefox is so slow. And Chrome, I can't believe I didn't try it a year ago. It's so fast. And it's true. I completely agree. And it's 100% true. Uh, but as a web developer, there's separate concerns for Firefox for me, which is it has a his rich history of tooling support, including something called Firebug. Probably a lot of people here have heard of it. Um, it does a lot of things. And there is an equivalent to Firebug, sort of, in Chrome and Safari. And it's called the WebKit Developer Tools. It looks like this. And it's uh, very much a feature-by-feature, -feature, sort of, kind of, almost copy of Firebug. Uh, I still like Firebug. And what I did for this talk was I wanted to uh, show the reasons why I still use Firefox for my everyday stuff at work, because I can then use Firebug to check stuff out, and it's just more fluid and faster for me than Chrome. And some of that may be my unfamiliarity with uh, Chrome. So my, uh, my basic thesis, my most favorite feature that is not in Chrome Developer Tools, uh, I have found out as of half an hour ago, my thesis is wrong. And the thesis that I had was that uh, I listened to a podcast where the creator of Firebug said that a hidden feature, that his favorite hidden feature of um, Firebug is that if you go click on, if you inspect an element, you find its HTML, you look at its CSS, and you want to change something about the CSS that's a number, you click on the number, and then you do not type any numbers. You hit the up key, boom, it's bigger. You hold down the up key, and it starts to animate until it looks good. This is not an example where I'm improving it, but if you were moving something <laughs> that you wanted moved, you would want to move it until it looks good and stop, instead of typing a number, refreshing, and spending 10 hours doing that. Um, so that kind, of, that kind of thing, if you do it a lot, saves you hours in the day. And Chrome doesn't do that. Only I just found out I'm wrong. Chrome does that now. Competition! <laughs> so what I really have to say here is that competition is making uh, WebKit step up and try to keep up with Firebug and hallelujah. Chrome's actually done that for a long time. Chrome's done that for a long time, yeah. um, which shows how completely simple-minded I am, that I believe <laughs> that it was still not, not there uh, when I was trying to do it earlier. Um, so some of the things that Chrome does do that uh, Firefox still doesn't do very well are show um, new features of the browser, such as, uh, where is it? It's, resources. Um, thank you, resources. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the local storage, um, which uh, Google isn't putting any, but if you've heard of HTML5 local storage in the browser, um, this will show you an extremely simple view of the name value pairs stored in your browser. And Firefox, as, soon as, hard, as close as I can tell, doesn't have that out of the box. Um, so my talk is about how I'm wrong and how I have to rethink what I was thinking and actually try out all the features of the latest version of Chrome Development Tools and see if it's caught up yet. Mm-hmm.